Okay, today we are looking at how to make your PlayStation 4 controller work with your PC. So, let's jump into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the PCSX2 website here. I'll put the link into the description in case you want to type that out. I'm looking at this post by Inhexter. He's the creator of this tool. All credit goes to him for it. So you want to come down here and you want to download the latest version, which currently is 1.2. So click on that and that will download. Okay, the next thing you want to do is, you, if you haven't already got them, if you haven't ever used an Xbox 360 controller with your PC, you want to come to the Microsoft site here. Yeah, I know, Microsoft. Go to this page. I'll, again, I'll link this in the description for you guys. And you just want to download the drivers for it, because this software that we're downloading works with by tricking the PC into thinking it's an Xbox 360 controller. So, okay, so you open up the folder that you'd downloaded to begin with, the DS4 tool, and you want to go into the virtual bus driver, and now click on this bit here, the application. Here we go, and what this will do is install it as a Windows device. Here we go, install summary. Exit. So now we can come back out and go back into the tool itself now so let's open up the main folder and go to the scp server thing right here so double click on that and there we go it starts automatically you see controller one is ready to use so if you go into your device settings here you find your it says xbox 360 controller of course it isn't actually an xbox 360 controller uh, you actually want to go to properties here i was just kind of clicking around a little bit so yeah go to properties here i'll drag it from my other screen here you go now if you press the buttons on the controller you see they're all working correctly and this is now working as an xbox 360 controller so to speak but there is more if you come in back to here and go into the options you have uh, options for adjusting the light bar color so whatever you whatever you like here are a few options that i can show you a bit of orange a bit of green a bit of blue that's too light and looks like white you can also use the LED as a battery indicator and make it flash when it's at less than 20%. You can change your rumble left and right, the way you want to do it, I don't know. And the touchpad sensitivity can be adjusted if you have it enabled, which is right here. So if you want it enabled, you can go there, click on that, and click save. And then you need to stop it and start it, which I've done already, and then it'll say up here true. And it'll have USB in brackets if you're connecting through USB. Here's a quick demonstration of me using it. It's not the easiest thing to use, I'll be perfectly honest, and I'm left-handed, so I should be okay at this, so yeah. It is a little bit of a struggle, but yeah, I don't think it's not meant for any aiming or anything like that. So there we go, you now have a fully functioning PlayStation 4 controller to use with your PC. I should say, you can attach it wirelessly if you would like to. I personally don't like using wireless devices because I just, I forget to charge them, they run out all the time, and it, yeah, it just drives me crazy, so. But that is an option if you want to, and it's literally just the same. You, you have to set it up as a Bluetooth device. So yeah, you get a Bluetooth adapter, or if you've already got the right Bluetooth for it, you can then just literally do a find for your device. You hold down the share and the PlayStation button on your controller until the light bar flashes, and then you can pair that together, and it'll work in exactly the same way. One thing I would like to add, if you've never used a PlayStation 4 controller, or never held one before, or when you're kind of stuck on the Xbox 360 one, then I can see that, so was I, but once you use this controller, honestly, it's really, really very good. Okay, so thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this has been useful for you, and I will see you next time.